A high-speed, high-capacity microSD card isn't necessarily the best choice for Flipper Zero. In fact, an expensive, top-of-the-line SD card can actually work worse than a cheaper, slower one. But why? Well, every microSD uses one of two interfaces for their connection with the device. Modern microSD cards use high-speed SD. This is what you'll find in the ones in your smartphone or your handheld games console. The older technology is SPI, which is still in use because of its greater compatibility. SPI is what Flip Zero uses. It could transfer data at just 600 kibibytes per second, but that's fast enough for everything Flipper Zero needs to do. When you're picking your own microSD card, you don't need to worry about speed and you don't need to worry about capacity. Just choose an old school card from a trustworthy brand that's well tested and available from a reputable store. We like the SanDisk Ultra range. How to properly insert a microSD card. We've actually seen people get this wrong before. Take the card and make sure the contacts are facing you with the jagged side on the left. Push it into the slot until you feel the click. If you've done it right, this little micro SD card icon will always be in the top left of the status bar. What to do if something goes wrong? If the micro SD card fails to mount, then you'll see this error message. This is usually because the card is incorrectly formatted. Flipper Zero uses the FAT32 or XFAT file systems. If yours isn't in one of those, you can actually fix it inside the Flipper Zero without taking the card out. Try going to Settings, Storage, and Formatting the SD card. This fixes most issues with SD cards. But what if you insert the card and nothing happens? Well, that means Flipper Zero can't see your card. The first thing to try is to clean the contacts on the card and then blow compressed air into the micro SD card slot because there might be some dust in there. If that didn't work, the card might not support SPI or simply be damaged or even fake. Oh, we have the, the Sandian, two terabytes for hmm. four pounds or six pence. That sounds legit. How to tell if a card is bad. Sometimes cards that work can still be bad. You'll know by checking the power consumption. Go to settings, power, battery info, and look at the level of consumption. With no modules attached or special apps running, this number should be between 20 and 30 milliampere. If it's way higher than that, then your micro SD card is either poor quality or counterfeit. Look how high the drain is on this one. For an easy way to check, remove your micro SD card and see if the number noticeably falls. If it does, the card is bad. Now you can measure the card's speed. Go to Settings, Storage, Benchmark SD Card. The first number is the size of the file being written in bytes. Then the W number is the data write speed, and the R number is the data read speed. Look at the 512 byte row. The read speed should be somewhere between 300 and 500 kibibytes per second. 